What's going on, family? Happy Thursday. I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics and then every Monday, we go live on Keto on the Couch where we just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website which is twocrazyketos.com and that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon and that way every single time, it's the first Thursday night in April, you'll be alerted to it. <laughs> How's everybody doing? Welcome to our Thursday night live stream. If you are new here, uh, we do this every single Thursday, except for next Thursday, probably. Right. Uh, at 8.30 p.m. And we kind of just like to chat with you guys. So if you have any questions, go ahead and put them in the chat. If you want to make sure we notice your comment, you can go ahead and use that little super chat function down below. That's a little dollar sign that's in the chat thing. That'll highlight our screen and let us know that you have a question or a comment or something like that. How's everybody doing? Doing. So I do want to say I'm going to sorry right now if you hear like a bunch of air coming out of my mouth and I sound funny. I got the some of my new teeth. Aren't in. those pretty? So these are all my new teeth. And then she put one That's of them store in. Store-bought teeth. She put one in and one she couldn't put in because we have to wait for the back. And then she put one in, and when my when the numbing went down yesterday on the field, I'm like, this thing is moving. Something's Something. wrong with it. I feel it doesn't the feel right. So I called her inside my mouth, and uh, she rushed in today to meet me. And she was like, first she was like, there's nothing wrong. Then she, when she was drilling to make it file it down a little bit, she was like, Ew. yeah, it's moving. So we are going to have to cut out the brand new $2,000 crown and start over again. But we are not doing that before Keto Salt Lake. No, we're not. We're going with teeth <laughs> and a new haircut. Rachel Both got a new haircut. Thank you. I can see people saying really nice things. Thank you so much for, for not saying that I look Christina fugly. is here and hey, said, Christina. hello, I cut down Hi, on Christina. my added fats and I'm back to losing weight. I've learned wow. that if you add add fat or too much fat then your body has to burn that before it starts to burn your Great stored fat reminder christina yes. so you do have to, you you need to have some fat okay I, I tell everybody really between 80 to 100 grams of fat a day is probably minimum the minimum because you need to keep your metabolism up but you have to find the balance of what is your fat threshold where is it that you are going to continue to lose weight. Yes. But not slow down your metabolism. If you don't have enough fat, you will be missing vitamin mineral absorption and you will risk slowing down your metabolism. I like to make sure that I have a balance that like I am losing weight but also not killing nobody. That is the balance that Rachel's always looking for. And I have a tracking problem. What's your tracking That has problem? arisen. What is that? I was so excited about our worksheets, right? because especially the one where it's just a pass fail every day, because what do I love more than anything? What do I want to get at the end of every single day to show that I stayed on You play? want your blue star. I want my blue dots. Mm -hmm. I want my blue dots. So I went and got some blue dot stickers and I've been putting them on, but then I realized I'm just making boobs. Look at this. <laughs> I'm making boobs. So. I guess we're just gonna keep going because I've purchased the stickers now, but I hope everybody has a boobtastic April because that's what I'm looking at while I'm tracking. Becca said, I'm eating to my macros, but I'm still, I but lately I've still been hungry. Increase your protein. Try doing that. That should help. Hi, Becca. Uh, let's see. Mary, uh, Mary Jean. Mary J. Angel. Said, uh, I just need to eat enough calories. It is so hard to do that after all the years of filling up with fiber and low yeah. calorie, low fat food. I'm, uh, I am loving never feeling hungry though. Okay, I'm gonna ask you to do me one favor. Yeah. Please don't think about calories. Right. Okay, we're not looking it's at hard. calories. It's hard because we're ingrained into calories in and calories out. Switch our brains. Calories in and calories out doesn't work. If it, it did. It doesn't work. I would have lost a tremendous amount of weight. And it's funny and because it in the program that I'm taking right now, in the courses that I'm taking, it's something that they talk a lot about and that, you know, we're, we're, we've been ingrained calories in, calories out. We've been ingrained, go to the gym, burn off 500 calories. Right. And we do that every day. 
and that actually screws up our body more. Serious. We need to we need to move more like our ancestors did, which is like what Bronson talks about every day: push, pull, lift, those kind of things. Think about our our primal ancestors. They did not have a treadmill. Is what, what you're did, saying? What did they do? They had to hunt for their food. They had to carry the carcass on the back, move stones, carry water, climb trees. So those things movement. So if you're doing things like simple, like squats and push ups and and those are all mimicking movements that our primal ancestors did. Yeah. Which would allow you to actually modify your genes to be more like our hunter and gatherer ancestors. I want to modify my genes. And so they didn't look at calories. Jordash genes. We're going to look at, you're looking at the amount of fuel. If the reason we say don't look at calories is because if you look at calories overall, you're counting protein calories. But protein calories don't matter because your body doesn't want to use protein for fuel. Why? Because it's really inefficient. Yeah. It's super inefficient for it to burn, use protein as fuel. So it, the third, first thing it does is alcohol because your body has zero <laughs> place to store alcohol. There's no place to store alcohol, so it gets rid of alcohol first. The next thing your body's gonna get rid of is ketones because again, it can't really store ketones that well. So it'll go through any ketones, plus it really likes them. Then it goes through carbohydrates, but your body can store 1,200 to 2,000 carbohydrates a day. That's why we don't eat carbohydrates. You eat carbohydrates, your body can't get to the next one, which is uh, fat, okay? It has protein's in there, but it doesn't use protein for fuel. It uses it for building muscle and stuff like that. Your body has an unlimited supply of fat storage. I sure do. I unlimited can absolutely supply. guarantee that I have an unlimited supply. It is no, it is without limits. So you have to look at fuel. If your body doesn't use protein for fuel, don't count those calories. So you wanna look at your fuel, carbohydrates and fat. Make sure you're not taking in too much of that. Oh, the warden's here. Hi, Shelly. She says, Rachel, your hair is so pretty and I love the flower. Thanks so much. You always look the cutest. I wanna grow a Shelly Parker ponytail. I wanna be able to do that. But every single time I go to the hairdresser, she's like, I love you, but a Shelly Parker ponytail is not in your future, Rachel, because as your hair grows out, it's it's very like weirdly straight, but also curly. It is a very It was a shock thing. when I got home yesterday. Yeah. I, she said, I'm going to get my hair cut. I'm like, please don't cut all your hair off. And that's what I came home to. That I, Caleb had taken a nap after work because he had like youth group last night. And so I was like, hey, how's it going? And he was like, mommy? <laughs> like he wasn't sure it was me. I was like, no, I'm a robber that just wants to tuck you in. Karen said your new haircut is absolutely Thanks adorable. Thanks so much, Karen. Lisa doesn't know how long she's been able to stay tonight. She's exhausted. You are so tired. Lisa, I'm so proud of you though. I'm excited about Laura your said new your job. Hair is cute. Thanks, Laura. I hope you're enjoying your new job, Lisa. I know it's like a lot to, to get started. Anytime you start a new job, even if it's easy peasy lemon squeezy, it's just the the adrenaline that you have to bring to like new surroundings is very, very tough for me. I'm usually exhausted. Are huh. you? I'm always exhausted. Future Breeze is still watching golf today. A multitasking. multitasking. Yeah, that is that's what I watch to take a nap. Golf. It, it works every time. If you haven't tried it, try it. It works. Also, Richard Attenborough, as we've discussed. Debbie said your hair, new hairstyle. She loves it. And Thanks. the new teeth are great, Joe. I will be happy when they are all done. Well, of I course. I will be happy when they're done. But we got a, a ways to go. We're going off to Utah with all of the back missing. Nothing on this side Don't at all. Don't look close. Temporary's back there. So if you're coming to Salt Lake and Don't we're Don't look emceeing, at Joe's teeth or my Sorry if course. I sound like Rachel, like you're not allowed to smile in Utah. I'm like, what? Yeah. I can't no smile. Smiling. She's like, because you see the fact that you're missing seven teeth in the back. I was like, can we, we'll do like this. <laughs> Hello, how's it going? Uh, Heath is here said, just hey, skipping Heath. through to tell everyone, hey, yo. Glad you're here, Heath. Yeah, Shauna said, Joe has a built-in whistle. Hey, I don't know how to whistle, so that maybe that will help. Now you, you can. We're going to make him only say S's. Only S's. Uh, Future Breeze said, my sister's front teeth caps broke. She's oh. having them pulled and going with implants. It's so we're not doing experience. implants. Well, we're going to do some implants on this side, but I got to wait six months to a year for that. Everything else where I have a tooth is all getting crowned. All the bottoms are getting crowns, even the good teeth, because I'm like, we're doing the top. Let's just do the bottom. The button. Half of the bottoms need to be done anyway. So I'm like, just throw the other three in there and make all my teeth look Can perfect. we just non-scale victory the fact that you are healing so 
well. I remember going through the mouth healing process mm -hmm. the last time you had dentistry done pre-keto, and it was so it long. Was, it was horrible. It was horrible. So, I mean, I think that even in recovery, keto helps you. Don't you think? Yes. Okay, uh, Jab said, is there any updates on Omaha Keto Summit release? It still only shows 2021 dates. I do have it. Chris I don't, says, he Rachel said, wants a gold star. He I told do. me that he it was being released. Let me see. Are you packed? Because Utah is like next packed. Tuesday. You know what I'm gonna pack? I'm gonna pack on Monday. I would I'm gonna like, pack actually probably three hours before you have to leave for the airport. I on would like to discuss something very important, and that is the you lack. You do that while I look for Jay's message. The lack of Easter dresses in the stores. Okay, it is ridiculous. I have been hunting, literally hunting, stocking stores. I've been to Dillard's. I've been to Macy's. I've been to Ross. I've been to Bell's. I went to Burlington. Like everywhere. There's no more dress barn. You can't go to a dress barn store, which I, I feel like is appropriate because why would they, why would you assume I want to wear a dress from a dress barn? That does not seem like very appealing to me, right? But I have been looking all over for Easter dresses and the patterns this year, like, ugh, it's like a patchwork quilt of like ugly and fugly together mixed together. I, I saw like flowers and camo print. I don't know where am I going in that. I, I've seen things that are fuzzy. There's weird shapes to the dresses, right? There's, and the, the cuts are always like it, for me, when I try to find a dress, it's always like hooker or grandma's going to a wedding. There is like only those types of styles available and I can't find anything normal. I actually sent a, a, a message to Nisha Berry today and I said, I know you've got a very full plate right now. However, if you could style some dresses, us ladies would really appreciate it because I'm telling you, if I wear some of these dresses to church on Sunday, I'm actually going to have people running away from Jesus. Do you understand? Like it is that bad. Anybody else experiencing this? Okay. So I got uh, the thing for Omaha. Anybody interested in Omaha? Yeah. Omaha. I want to go to that. Omaha is going to be August 18th and 19th in Omaha, Nebraska. I put the link in the chat. I also put the link in the description and right. Yes. If you use the code, we do not make any money off of this, but no. we will be at the event. Yeah. If you use the code too crazy, We're you will crazy. get 50% off of your tickets to Omaha. What? Yes. The number two K R A Z. They will sell out. So I advise if you want to go to Omaha in August, Go get your tickets. Use Holy that link. They're a pre-sale ticket. Macaroni. And he gave me a 50% off ticket because we're coming. What? So the code is too crazy. Oh my okay, god. Number two, crazy with a K, obviously. Yeah. Okay. Wow. There you go. That that's a really good deal. I wish we could get everybody that coupon code for everything. Don't mm -hmm. you? Wouldn't that be awesome? Shauna said hello everyone. I'm on my workout hey, machine while I'm watching to try to get back on, on track. track. Way to go. Jacqueline, Jacqueline said, said, first live, love welcome. you guys, you're affordable for the wallet. I got my last bit of $550 in keto chow wow. on the way, a few big bags, and the last few flavors I would like to try. It's so funny. So I was talking to my mom, and my mom was asking me, like, you know, she worries about the recessions and, and stock market and everything Hurricanes. Else, and hurricanes. And she said, do you, what do you, she's like, as a meat eater... What do you do? Because she grows a lot of her own vegetables. Mm -hmm. And she's like, as a meat eater, what do you do if there's a storm? I'm like, I have three generators. That's first of all. So I'm like, I have 500 pounds of meat in our freezer. And she's like, well, what if your electric goes out? I'm like, I have three generators. She's like, what if that runs out? And I'm like, no problem. I got a whole bunch of keto chat. There's always keto chat. And she's like, okay, well, what do you do? And I'm like, all listen, worst came to worst. The absolute I drink worst. keto chow with no fat in it. It gives me a bunch of protein, all of my electrolytes, my vitamins, my minerals that I need for the day. And all I need is water. We have a 12,000 gallon swimming pool in the backyard, and which I can take that water, pour it through my Berkey, and I'm good. So I figure if we have a hurricane that knocked out all of our electric, I could go six months. She I may get really skinny from not having any fat, right. but I can go six months because keto... Listen, I, it is expensive when you look at, okay, 
$80 a bag minus our 10% discount when you use our link, which that is down below and it supports the channel. Um, but it's still, if you buy the big bag, it's like $350 a meal. Yeah. Like, where can, you go for ice cream. where can you go for $350? It's $350 an ice cream. <laughs> you can't go get an ice cream at the store no. for $350. You cannot. Have you been to, have you taken a child to Baskin Robbins? No, I don't do that kind of it's stuff. It's not good. It's not good. Uh, Matreya is here said, I said that recently about fat balance and some people got quite upset. The DMs. <laughs> what gets done? Like, it's like the behind the curtain yell. It's like, it's like you're, it's like an adult in your life taking you aside to really like tell you what's what. We have to mail the out DMs. that stuff from our Patreon live stream. I need yes, you to package do. that up so I can mail it out. I've done. I'm okay. done. <laughs> um, yeah, you have to find the right balance. Now, when you first get started on keto, you want more fat. Why? Because your body doesn't start no, doesn't know yet to that you're going to be looking to fat. You're clearing out your carbohydrate stores, and now we're going to go to our fat. But once after a couple of weeks, we can start kind of weaning back on the amount of fat. You have to have fat, but you don't have to have excessive amount of fat. People need to get out of their mind unless you're doing it for a reason like Maitreya, uh, for brain injuries or things like that. You don't need to have an 80% from calorie fat diet. You yeah. just don't need that. What we need is protein because our body can't make protein and it's required for a lot of functions. And then we need fat to fuel. And then you want to allow your body to use the fat that you're giving it and the fat on your body. That allows you to have energy all day long because as it goes through it, it just goes to your body fat. Oh, Jerry's here. Hey, Jerry. Uh, let's see. Jason yep, Shauna said Hi, seven days and 21 hours till keto Salt Lake. How many? Are you are, packed, Shauna? What, let's see. Are you ready Thursday, to go? Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Saturday, Sunday, Sunday, Monday, Monday to Tuesday. I got me some jeans at the thrift store, so we watch will, out. We will be on an airplane in five days. Watch out. $3.50 for my jeans. I'm going to be showcasing them at the event. Juju said, you know, hey, I never felt like my collagen was doing much for me in my coffee. Have not had any in coffee in my weeks, and uh, the amount of hair all over the couch, bed, wow. and bathtub say otherwise. Wow, that is amazing! I have been, we've been putting it for the last couple of days in the yogurt. Yep. Oh my gracious! The peanut butter inside of the yogurt mixed will like, I mean, my knees buckle. It's so good. Becky said, "Hey everyone, enjoy hey, our first creamy today. Finally gave oh. in and got one with only nine containers. Only nine containers. Hey, I need them all. Okay, I need to know. I need." creamy security, right? Like, otherwise I eye Joe and I'm like, don't even reach for that pint of ice cream. Do you understand me? Like that is mama bears, unless you have backups for me. It's very important to have backups. There's a strawberry in the garage. You can have that one. Dibs. I'm, I'm having pistachio. Think again, friend. Lisa said, hey, I found Lisa. that tracking is keeping me honest. I'm learning a lot about myself and what works for me. You know what I find about tracking? I don't cheat as much because I have to write it down. Yes. Some, okay, this how lazy I can be. Sometimes. Oh, Shauna, thank you very much hey, for the Shauna. $10 super chat and said Aww. seven days keto Salt Lake. And oh, blue hugs. dots and laughs and hugs and stars. I love it. So sometimes I will go to pick something up for real and I'm like, Oh, if I have to like go open up chronometer and type it in and add it to my day, just forget it. I don't even need it that much. I've literally done that to avoid having to put something in. It is it has kept me that honest. It's that bad. That uh, lazy. Mario said, is there a good exercise program to follow on keto to build muscle? Just need something to follow. Okay, first thing I'm gonna recommend. Every day we should be moving somehow. Go for, it doesn't have, you don't need to have an increased heart rate. We just need to move. Think about again, our primal ancestors. We moved, we were always moving. Now what do we do? We sit behind the desk, moved. we're inside. Go for a walk every day, 15, 20 minutes. Go for a walk. It doesn't have to be a lot of strength, just moving your body. If you're inside, maybe take a walk around your office a couple times a day. Uh, strength, do a lot of body weight exercises, pull-ups, um, squats, one of the best exercises, Steve just did his 30 day challenge on one of the planking. best exercises for exercise for you is planking because it utilizes almost all of the major muscles that you need to worry about. It you don't need to build every single muscle. Right. You want to build the core ones. And that's what planking will do. It doesn't but go have to follow be fancy. Bronson Dan. Bronson's yes. got lots of Coach stuff for Bronson. free on the internet, and that would be a great place to He's go. He's awesome. Soft. We definitely not exercise geeks. No. I just want to move. I, 
I'm just regular geek. John said, I usually have to listen to live while I'm driving. Glad to be able to interact. Don, we're glad you're able to interact too. I love it. Uh, Marie said, did you see Dr. Barry's plastic video? I started using paper uh, plates this year. Oh man, now I feel bad about it. Yeah, I mean, I've seen that. And the only paper plates that we really like to use if we're putting anything hot on it is the, like, what are they? The Chinette, which are literally just recycled paper. They stink because there's no coating on them and everything soaks Every, into so like, them. So, like, I lose my grease. But we that never use sad. any kind of paper plates to, like, heat stuff up. Here's here's my thing. We'll use it to serve. We, if we go out, if we if we go to Keto Salt Lake, if we go to a party, something like that, we're obviously going to use a paper plate. For me... Camping. 90% is good enough. That That's just me. Don't make yourself okay? crazy. I, I'm not going to make myself crazy. For example, I got beat up on yesterday's video for using tap water to make my keto chows. And I, we talked about it on the vlog, but here's my thing. Why did I use tap water to make my keto chow? I'm lazy. Because if I'm making it with butter, yeah, I need warm water. Right. I don't want to take the water out of the Berkey and first have to go put it into things and then heat it up and get it to the right temperature and so that the butter doesn't solidify and I don't go over the temperature. Then I have to go fill the Berkey back up. Usually I have to fill the Berkey up and wait for it all to drain because the kids have used it all and there's no water when I want it. Yeah. But if I'm drinking plain water, if I'm drinking like our seltzer water, you know, I'm always using the Berkey water because I gotta ta I can taste it. But if I'm making keto chow, I don't taste it. Would it probably taste better if I use filtered water? Yes. But the keto chow masks the taste of the uh, of the disgusting Who put water. Put that lid on. And so there you Whew. go. Um, and so I use that Speaking because of I can get it out warm. With that being said, like we were, what started this was ninety percent for me is good enough. I take a shower in that water. So if I'm taking a shower in the water, I'm still getting any chemicals that are in the water in my body. Ugh. There's actually more chlorine in the water that we take a shower in than is in a swimming pool. Yet, what do you do when you go swimming in a pool? The first thing you do when you get home. Shower. Take a shower to wash <laughs> off that chlorine. But you're washing your body in more chlorine than is actually in your pool. That is crazy talk. Take, if, you have to, if you have city water, I'm telling you, go get a pool test and test it. And you will see it's like over the limit of what you're supposed to be swimming in. Thanks a lot, Joe. You're welcome. For ruining showers for me. Evelyn said tracking uh, for us is eye-opening. Thought I was good, but I'm low on my protein. That's good. And it's not like, it's not for us to like kick ourselves across the month. It's just nice to take a look at what we're doing and see if, you know, we get to the end of the month and if for some reason we're like, I, I'm scratching my head. I don't understand why I'm having this issue. Like maybe we could avoid that yeah. at the end of this month. Uh, Gloria said, we met you guys in Vegas. Next time we're going to share a meal. Thank you for a wonderful encouragement to all of us. Thank you. We are going back to Vegas. As a matter of fact, I need to call Robbie to talk to him. Uh, I He had called me when I was in a dentist chair, and then I never called him back. Uh, Lisa's here said, I've been feeling a little defe uh, sorry, defeated Lisa. this week. Even though I've been doing keto for three years, I haven't gotten a lot of sleep and no energy at all to the last uh, through the week so far. One of the things that I'm not getting sleep I, I'm I'm getting three, four hours of sleep a night. Number one, because I've got so much going on, getting ready for Omaha. You mean uh, Utah? Or Utah. Um, worrying about taxes, worrying about my teeth, trying to get things fixed. And I'm always on my computer. So I ended up buying some good- Blue I've been, blockers? The, they're not blue blockers. They're from a company called Vivarays. I'm actually trying to get the owner of the company to come on. Oh, um, talk but, about sleep? So the ones I bought, it's, they're not That's just exciting. blue light things because blue light are good if you're looking at a computer screen. Right. But one of the things that I've learned is that when you expose yourself to light, like even right now, like our body has our circadian rhythm and it goes by the natural light and darkness outside. You're supposed to be going to sleep when it gets dark out. Like a chicken. Right? Our chickens get But it. what happens is, is we come inside and we're still in all of lights. these lights and our body thinks it's still daytime out. Right. So these actually, you wear the blue light whenever you're looking at the screen. And then in the evening, you put on another lens, which mimics like a fire. 
So oh. it, it blocks out the blue, but it also mimics the fire. So, so your body you can yourself? start, even if you're inside in all these LED lights, your body starts realizing it's time to start winding down. Then wow. about two hours before you go to sleep, you put on another lens on it, which eliminates all blue and green light. So everything looks gray, a red and like gray when you look through them. And you, but that is mimicking like the end of when you would have a fire and the fire would be burning out. Oh, so it's yeah. getting darker. I love it that Do point. you know, I wore them last night. I tried to watch TV within five minutes. You were I was out. asleep. I got nine hours of sleep. No, uh, that is a freaking. On the first day of using them. Wow. That was not, I'm, it's not a coincidence because like I was wide awake, but I literally wore them for four hours before going to bed. And it really helped to not have my, my eyes weren't burning going to bed. I didn't have a headache. From I've talked at to screens. parents about it at church because they've ha started having their kids wear like a screen thing because, you know, so many of them had um, during the Voldemort years uh, had to do schooling on a computer and they spent a lot of time on their screens. So they've been trying to be proactive about yeah. that. So I've heard about parents doing it. That's yeah. cool. So it, it's not just the blue light, which we should always be wearing blue light, you know, some kind of blue light. If you're wearing regular prescription lenses, you can have it put on, but you need something to start at the end of the day, getting your mind to wear down because you need it to think it's nighttime. And if you're like me and you have all the lights on in the house at one o'clock in the morning, my brain thinks it's my still brain day. is like a Duracell battery. When it's out, it's out folks. Patty said, I couldn't hey, figure out how to get enough protein without the fat. You guys suggested tuna. Brilliant. Oh, Rachel's good. really enjoying oh, tuna Oh my gracious. That, what is it? The wild caught, what's the name of that? What's the brand of tuna? It is. Wild Planet? Wild Planet. Not Blue Planet, that puts me to sleep. Right. Wild Planet. Wild Planet, wild caught albacore tuna. It doesn't even stink, yo. No. It does not even stink. That is, I feel like that is the highest compliment that I could pay it. Cindy Oliver said, I've only been tracking for four days now and I think like BBBE because I eat until I'm full and I don't worry about the nice. rest. Like tracking and feeling like I can't eat anymore because I've hit my macros. Yeah, make sure that you're you're not track Like this first week, we were just trying to like, just write down what we're actually eating. Not try to like fulfill yep. a target. Yep, okay, so, okay, that's where we're up. Uh, Chris said, okay, just to be a pandemic, uh, pandemic, Pandantic. there we go. Your body does have a limited capacity to store fat, also known as the personal fat I think threshold. my personal fat threshold is more than yours, sir. I but think that you my, can keep, there are people walking around with 400 pounds of body fat on. That's like yeah. 1.6 million calories of, do, of fat stores. There's a lot that's chasing behind me. It's there's a lot of fat, there, it's back there though. It's, and not in a good way. Not in like a, not in a cute way. Not in a Jennifer Lopez kind of way. Becky said your hair Rachel. looks like it's ready for summer. Thank you. I, I am ready for summer. I mean, it's sort of already summer here. Uh, Lisa it's said, like, I'm enjoying what, my job. Just today? a lot to learn. And I'm on information overload and going from part-time to full-time wow. is definitely a huge change. Wow, that is a huge change. So give yourself a lot of grace, Lisa. And I, it was amazing because Lisa still posted a gorgeous picture of her meal. And it was like leftovers. And I don't think her, I don't think I've ever had a fresh meal that we've made look as pretty as her leftovers meal. Her leftovers meal looks like it needs to go into a magazine. Amazing. Uh, Melissa said, uh, Dr. Physical at the end of the month, uh, scared by my blood pressure will still be high. I'm on day 11 of keto vor. <clears throat> We are not doctors, nurses, or health professionals, but make sure no. you're getting enough sodium in. Yes. And so just, low sodium can cause high blood pressure. And trust the process. I know it's a lot. Uh, Claire said, Joe, in solidarity with your dental work, I also needed a crown this what? week. Claire, that is like next level friendship right now. <laughs> like who else is getting a dentist visit in, in solidarity, Joe? Thank you so much for that, Claire. That is awesome. I'm not even willing to do that. I should, because as you get white teeth, Mine look more yellow. I need to get my teeth clean when as soon as we get back, and I'd like to apologize right now to anybody that's gonna have to look at my coffee-stained teeth in Utah. Well, it, it doesn't help when you say white. to me last night, like, you think I can get in before? I'm like, why didn't you no, hear about this last week? Because I didn't, I wasn't married to like Mr. Clean's mouth. <sighs> 
Juju said, oh, no, no, my, my uh, one lone raspberry bush just shipped. Hey, oh, wow. it's keto fruit. Yeah. It's related. I got my thing to bring me joy today. I can check my joy and laugh. I well. love that so much. And hey, I think that that is a really powerful thing. If you're willing to grow it, if you're willing to tend to it, then you get to eat it. I think absolutely that is an absolute like deal. Right? Don't you think that's a deal, Mr. Joe? Yes. Uh, hold on. I'm Denise looking. says, do you have a link for your special tower towels and would they be good for the cruise? Yes. Heck yes, they would. You're talking about the, the Turkish towels. Turkish towels. Turkish towels look like, I don't understand why getting they need right tassels. Now. I don't know. I, does anybody get why they need tassels? Because I don't understand it. But we take these camping and I am amazed how at how quickly they actually dry. Because we took them when we had Anthony and Caleb and me and Joe in the camper during Christmas time. And, oh, and mom. Mm -hmm. And the thing was, is like five people in towels in South Florida weather, forget it. They're never going to dry. I just posted the link for the they, towels. They get smelly and gross. But these towels really dry out They look fast. really thin. They look like they're not going to work. They dry you off really quickly. And they dry very quickly. I actually, and they're very, very lightweight. That's what we use in the RV. I actually suggested them to, to church for baptism <laughs> because we have to have so many towels. It's like, yes. Baptism. Do, De Deb do those said towels. you're absolutely right about the dress choices. It's crazy, isn't it? It's insane. Jeb said, L <laughs> "Hook or a grandma? That's it. Which one you want? C grandma going to a wedding? That's it." Chris said, "I know that 2KK is flying to Salt Lake and driving to KetoCon in Austin. Yes, we are driving yes. to KetoCon because it's going to cost us about two hundred and fifty dollars round trip in fuel and fifteen hundred if we fly. That seems like just a an easy Honestly, math equation. Honestly, I would me. I would actually drive to Salt Lake, but there's no way Rachel's doing that." That's a little bit long on short notice. Omaha is on Shauna's birthday? How cool oh, is wow. that? Uh, Tanya's here said hello, hello. Okay, I have came in. I heard Rachel say a hooker or a grandma. I'm sorry. Tanya, I'm sorry. I just <sighs> apologize. Uh, Matre said sorry. You're struggling with dresses. It's just hard to find something. And here's the thing, too. I'm going to put this right out there. I have to wear a bra. I cannot go with these spaghetti strap like thing. It's not gonna hold up, okay? I need an over-the-shoulder boulder holder. It has to be done. G-rated, please. It has to be done. I would love, love to to wear these little cute like cropped no nothing going on. I cannot wear it. All right. I will be. I've had to. I've done like the fake pasty things underneath. Can we for go somewhere special else, events. please? Well, I'm just saying that I have tried because people have suggested all sorts of things for me to be successful in wearing a strapless type of dress. But even if it works, I am sweating nervous that it's going to fail me at some point. So my mind is always not where it should be. Yeah. Joanna said, two summers ago, I wanted a regular plain summer dress and uh, they all look like they were something my grandmother would have worn. And I'm 61 years old. It's, it, it's like un... Believable. Some of them, I took mom with me because she has not been to the mall in a minute because she always gets her clothes at thrift stores too. So we walked in and it, we were in Macy's and it was like, oh my gosh. Okay. It, it, it's like a prairie dress that Laura Ingalls Wilder would wear, but also an ugly pattern on top of it. So it was just, it, it was, it was big neck, long sleeves to the floor. And it was like $85. I cannot pay that much money for a dress. I just can't do it. Can't. So uh, Brian said everyone, that the code too crazy is saying expired. I just sent Jay a message. So if you want to get tickets, hold on. Yep. Just and we will find out what it is and we will make a post about it as He's soon seen as it, I hear I back. See a little, I see a little check. So I am going as soon as we hear back from Brian. I will let guys and everybody know. We'll put a post up wherever, uh, and we'll go from there. Uh, Oh, Sherry, thank you. Chris said, there's always money in a banana stand. Sherry, thank you very much for the $1.99 Super Chat. Said, check out the X by X dress. It's perfect. Okay, I'm going to check that out. Thank you. Thank you, Sherry. I trust you. Becky said, I agree with you on the Easter dresses. I've lost 96 pounds during the last year. I was excited yes. about wearing a normal size dress. All I have found I is a gray. It is not fair, okay? Everybody had the first 40 years of my life to make ugly dresses. 
right? Mm -hmm. Because it didn't matter. I was basically just, just, just not concerned uh, about fashion at all, okay? 40 years, now I'm in it. I really want to wear a decent dress. Can we come up with a decent pattern, please? Please. Betsy said, I know Dr. Barry said there's vitamin C in meat, but not according to Chronometer, what do I do? Um, there is vitamin C in meat, it's not a lot. I, I'm not a doctor or a nurse or a health professional, but I do not know the term for it. Chris might, because he's a nerd. Nerd, and, nerd, nerd. Um, there is a way where your body can actually create vitamin C from the meat. I just don't remember off the top of my head what the term is. Okay. It's not something I would worry about. I think what you, the word you were looking for when you described Chris was, it was nerd, but I think it was wealth of information. That's I good. think that that was what. We'll go with that. I think that that is his title. Chris Bear, wealth of information. Vitamin C is one of the very few vitamins that where you could get more from a plant. But most of the other vitamins that everyone says like spinach, um, I'm where I'm actually in the middle of writing a blog post about this. Uh, like spinach, pretty much everything that they say is good for you in spinach, you get more from meat. Dun, 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 dun. The Popeye said. So Jay said he is working on the code right now. See, awesome. you don't like me being distracted, but look, I got Jay over here on Facebook while we're live streaming. Who wants Joe to fry an egg for you <laughs> while he's also doing all these things? Uh, Joanna said, Joe, you can have butter because you technically don't have the refrigerator, so you can have your fat. That's true. But what I do have, I, yeah, but the problem is, butter is powder. mixing it. Butter powder. And the problem is mixing it because how are you going to melt it if you don't have electricity? But, or you could use a pan if you have gas or something like that. But I, that's where I have a store of butter powder I'm for. I'm keto, so I don't have as much gas as I used to. When hurricanes come around, we always make sure we have butter powder or heavy whipping cream powder just in case. Because but we hide we it. We have gone from Rachel up to a month without electricity from a hurricane. Yes. Sherry, thank you very much for the $4.99 super chat. I said, just watched Steak and Butter Gal, and she had a carnivore doctor that said, plants kill us and exercise is bad for us. Thoughts, please. Um... I don't think that exercise is bad for you. Over-exercise is bad for okay. you. Okay. But I mean, not but like... I, we really can't get into it here. But yeah. yes, over-exercising, like going... Sorry for this. Balls but to the wall. Balls to the wall. I knew it. <laughs> balls. Every single day, not necessarily good for us. There you go. It's just not. Um, you you will get diminishing returns. Dr. Berry has talked about it too. Um, plants, yes, they can kill you. Um, That's their only defense mechanism. That you have to, to look be at. Fair. Now, I'm not saying don't eat plants. Okay, we eat plants. But if you look at the amount that they push on us in the standard American diet, where plants should be a majority of your diet, plants have a lot of toxins in them. Like Rachel said, plants need to defend themselves. Somehow. Okay, they can't swim away or bite us or claw us or anything like that. And if they do, you need to They move. don't want to be There's something eaten. wrong with your plant. So they have a defense mechanism so that they can survive. And there's all kinds of things from oxalates to tannins to, you know, phytates, lots of different things. And they all do different things to you. And if you're consuming a lot of them, they can do things like a lot of these different chemicals do things like shut down your kidneys. Uh, slow your metabolism, uh, actually can cause t uh, diabetes because of what it does to your insulin. Uh, there's a lot of different things. And the average American on a standard American diet is eating 1.5 grams of plant toxins every day. Not great. That's a lot of toxins. That's not great. So do we eat vegetables? Yes. Do we eat them to excess? No. no. You know, so, and then not just my personal opinion. I mean, not my personal opinion that there are toxins in plants, but my personal opinion that you shouldn't eat them to excess. Because uh, we are not doctors, nurses, or health professionals. Uh, S, I really wish I knew how to pronounce it. S.T. Wong. Okay, is that what it is? Yeah. I got to get on it. I don't have six months worth of keto chow yet. <laughs> <laughs> I have six months worth of keto chow. I don't know if I have six months worth of keto chow of my favorite flavors. Shauna says, Because I'm down to my non-favorite flavors. She needs to know who's going. Uh, let's see. 
Yeah, Chris, that's because the USDA ignored vitamin C when they tested meat and left it out of the information. Chronometer uses the USDA information. Thanks for that. But there, yeah, there is vitamin C. It's just, it's not a tremendous amount, but it is there. Brianna, go, hit Brianna's comment right there. I noticed the weird dresses in the stores. Granny chic. Yes, that is the perfect way to describe it. More like granny week, the lamest assortment of color styles and patterns. Even my 84-year-old grandmother thought that they were granny styles. When your grandmother has to point out that like my grandmother would wear that or I'm a grandmother and I'm not going to wear that, like we should take notes. I don't know who is designing this. Cool Kid Keto said, I'm starting to think I haven't worn a dress since my wedding in 2019. I don't wear them often because I do like jeans and t-shirts. I just do. But like sometimes, I mean, Easter, it's so springy. I just want to wear a dress and look like girly, but... Yeah, it, this is not helping. Perfect. Chris said, I've never heard of a carnivore that's experienced scurvy. Good point. I like that. <laughs> See, he's a wealth of information. He is. LaShawn is here. Hello, LaShawn. Terry salutes. Alan said, can I put egg yolk powder in keto chow? Yeah. 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 Uh, now, remember, Hi, it, that's a powder. Um, so you may need to add a little bit more liquid depending on how much you're putting in there. I wonder, we should try that. And Anthony says, goes. Joe, what about one to one? Isn't that too much fat then? Finding the balance no. is making my head hurt. One to one is not 80% fat. It's actually about 60% calories from fat. And so remember, when we go one to one, that's the protein to energy diet. And we're looking at all of our energy. And you can have more protein. But again, think about how do we figure out our protein, our, our, our goals on one to one? We look at either what our lean body mass is or our current weight in kilograms for the minimum amount of protein and then work from there. I'm going to tell you, you should probably be around 1.5 kilograms on average to of your current body weight. Or you can just use your pounds and current body weight. It's up to you. Find what works for you. But everyone should have at least 100 grams of protein a day. But if you figure out, for example, Rachel at... Um, she's looking for about 145 grams of protein, 145 grams yes. of fat and carbohydrates combined. Uh -huh. That's only about 1,580 calories. So it's not, if you're working calories. If you're calories, looking at calories. You it, wouldn't be it's upset It's not by as it. much as you think it is. Yeah. Uh, Juju said, I have lupus, so my hair falls out. But I was like, I'm not noticing much. And three weeks without, no, it totally kept the hair attached to my head. Oh, Wow. That's amazing. J-Dog said, I need more creamy containers. Made Patty chocolate peanut butter with lilies and I, have gi and I have gingerbread with peanut macadamia from lollies. That is my favorite one. Joe is absolutely loving the lollies as a mix-in in in the creamy because it is like edible for him. Like it's easy for you to chew it and then also have a mix-in. SJ said, since resetting hey. myself from watching all your videos, I've dropped five pounds. So I'm back on track. That is awesome. Congratulations. Joanna said, I didn't get out for a walk, but I walked up and down the stairs and packed all day. There you then go. Then hauled out garbage. That bags. is what that we're talking about. That is the movement you're looking for. Yep. Functional. I was talking to Anthony about this in the car today, who, by the way, is learning to drive the truck with a trailer. Are you excited? Talk about. Nervous? I, I'm more nervous with him driving my truck and my trailer than when I was actually teaching him how to drive. Well, I mean. Because we're towing an 8,000 pound trailer with all of my lawnmower equipment and everything else behind us. But he wants to take over the business. His goal is by the end of the summer. I'm like, son, you better go find some kidneys or something to sell because <laughs> the price of trucks right now, I don't know how you plan on doing that. But um, I was talking to him today about the difference between him. Like he is stronger than a lot of his friends who go to work out in a gym. Right. Anthony has never lifted a weight in his life. He's just not. But he's what I like guy. to call farm strong mm -hmm. because of moving sod and lifting bags of rocks, he's farm strong. Right. You know, it's like you look at Dr. Sean Baker, like farm strong. Functional Like fitness. Adam Nally, farm strong. Yeah. He's like, you know, you're They're a rancher, lift. you're throwing hay. And, yeah. And so, yeah, if you're doing those kind of things all the time, you will be building muscle and getting stronger without having to spend four hours a day in the gym. Uh, Kimberly said, I started tracking with you guys on Tuesday and Yay. it has definitely been eye-opening. It's easy to track keto chow. It, it, is it easy to track keto oh, chow? Oh, yeah. Pie? Yeah, every flavor is in every there. Every single flavor so is already there. you can create your own custom or what I do is I just go and I choose the flavor 
And then I just put how much butter or heavy whipping cream or whatever I'm in there because I do it different every single time I make it. I see Wong says, I'm in office once a week now and making myself do the four flights of stairs. That is another way to get in functional fitness. That is so stinking good. Way to go. Bev said, do you think you can make keto chow with fresh avocados? Yeah, yes. I've done it. Yep. We uh, totally Rachel done it. didn't like the taste of the first time I did it. It, but. Was, it was interesting. I think, you know what I think would taste good with the taco? Yeah. Uh, Road Bear said, is losing 40 pounds on carnivore in a month dangerous? It depends on how big you were. Yeah. You know, if, if you weigh 160 pounds and lose 40 pounds, could be. Um, if you weigh 300 pounds and lose 40 pounds, probably not. But the, the key is, and again, we tell people this all the time, and again, not doctors, nurses, or health professionals, but we've learned a lot because we've been stupid in our lives when it came to losing weight. Yeah. Don't try to lose too much too quickly. Like if you go use a keto calculator or any kind of calculator, like what should my macros be? And it gives you the option of how fast do you want to lose the weight? Don't choose really fast. No. Choose slow. Take your time. That is better for your metabolism. Slow and steady Especially wins the race. if you're looking at calories, you can only go so far. If, 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 for example, if it says you should eat 2,000 calories to maintain and you whack off 30% of them and now you're down to what? you know, 1400 calories, that will work for a few weeks. Now, what happens when you hit a stall? How much lower are you gonna go? Right. You're gonna get to the How point where Rachel was and, and eat How 500 calories, be miserable. I'm not great at limbo. Uh, Freshy Ella, oh thank you very gracious. much for the 99.99 super chat. Oh the, my love goodness. the cult, love the quips. You are funny and entertaining. Thanks so much, my gracious. Thank you so much. Wow. Uh, Lisa said, guys, my eyes can't even focus anymore. I can't even focus. I'm going to yes. call it a night. Everyone have a great weekend. Have a great weekend, Lisa. I hope you get some good rest. Yeah, Chris said, I use keto, tap water to eat, make keto chow all the time. Now, Re you guys have good Go water. Go back up one more. Rita says, since I reset myself, no fast food, tracking, and intermittent fasting, I've lost four pounds. I've been stuck around 327 since the first of the year. Rita, I am so that proud awesome. of you. That is awesome. Yeah, Shauna says tap water. Psh, I grew up drinking out of the hose. Me too. Me Amy too. said, have you made a video on how to use chronometer? Is it okay to free up? Yeah, it is. Um, the video is up. Yep. I'm sure Chris will put a link if he's still in here. Um, I'm going to probably do a follow-up. Yes, we will. Uh, because there's some things that we wanted to show people on just how to get things on the screen. It's just going to take, it probably won't be until after we get home from Salt Lake. Right. Um. But it is up there. Now, there's a couple of, and the one of the reasons I want to do a follow up because there are some things that we talk about on there that are not available on the free version, like being able to separate into breakfast, lunch, and dinner, uh, or having timestamps. That all comes with the paid version. We don't make money off of Chronometer. I just think it is the best tracking app just out there. just want to help. Okay. I think there are a lot of features, and I absolutely think it's worth the $50 a year that they charge. He did tell me if you use the link that they gave us, you get 10% off. Well, so, we'll take any anything off. You know, and that's, again, Jay offering 50% off on tickets because that's usually what we do. That's why we went to Lolly's and said, like, just give us a coupon code. We don't need to make any money, but we like the product and we, we want to help We just want to help these money. businesses and we just want to help the, you know, provide information that, and services that, that may help you. Uh, Juju said, Chris, do you have a kind of tell me too crazy code for coming? This promo code is expired. They're like I said, he is working on it right now. I've already messaged him. Jay is a super busy guy too. Juju said, we only have disposable stuff when we were bestie comes nine kids between us wow. plus four adults the rest of the year. Real dishes, reusable napkins. That is nice. Cause seriously, oh my gracious. That is a lot of people. Oh, he's so sweet. He's like, I'm so sorry guys. I'm working on it right now. So Joe is letting him know, just take your time. We totally understand. <laughs> He's just letting Jay know that, that that it's good. And we want everybody to be able to get a good discount. Yep. Uh, Future said, get the cheap uncoated paper, uncoated heavy duty cardboardy paper. Just make sure uncoated. Yep, that's what we like get. Like it. Plus, they were really cheap one day in Costco. They were like clearing them out, so we bought like five packages of them. You will see that if we do have uh, anything that we're serving cold f food on, it's usually Christmas or Halloween yep. because when we can get it on. Clear. We're almost out of this. Defense was that people actually had that much time in their lives to slam you for using tap water. I swear, people seriously Aww. need to re-examine their lives. Thank you. It's okay. It's it's. I get <clears> it. 
If you have a thin skin, don't start a YouTube channel. No. You know, and you guys are awesome because I you know are. we don't get nearly the hate that no. a lot of other you people get. You guys are get, so stinking awesome. But you definitely have to have a thick skin. Yeah. Like, at least once a day I get a comment that I'm a male chauvinistic pig because of the you're so easy Rachel can make it videos. Well, and we at least get two comments about people who really don't like my face. I'm sorry, but it's the only one I've got. Right. So it's, it's just part of it. It comes with it. We get can you used to it. you fix this? I... Uh, oh, Chris added Keto Summit Omaha to low carbon. Awesome. Vent. Uh, Cindy said, creamy security. I need that. I too need that. My outer lid broke and won't work. Oh, Pat says, oh my gosh. Wouldn't did you, you know think... of all replacements, they're sold out. She says, did you think I was being negative about asking? Oh no, it was not you. <laughs> it was not you, Pat. It was, it was, no. I totally knew when you were. No, asking. no, no. We got like a, a nasty comment. It was, it was a whole long email. Uh, Scott said, do electrolytes help with brain fog? Yesterday I felt so good, but today I feel like it's just off my head. Yes. Um, Juju said, I comment about your hot water, but I would never shame you. No. Uh, from the heart, top, top water is super bad for you. Oh yeah. Yeah, no. But we, we're using warm water. And again, we do the best we can. My, for me, it's 90% good enough. Yeah. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, Joanna said, hey, Chris Bear says he uses tap water and he created it. If it's good enough for him, it's good enough for me. And again, we're not, we're not trying to. No. Okay. Get your tickets now using promo code early for the first 100. Yeah. Jay's still working on the other one. Yeah. Uh, Shauna said, mom called me this afternoon so I could tell her how to put a coleslaw recipe. She did. Aww. She has chronometer How free. nice. Yeah, I'm you so can proud. put recipes. There's just certain features that you can't do with it. Oh, my mom is here. Hi, mommy. Uh, he said, thanks to the snow, snow apocalypse, snow Texas 2021. Yeah. We have all new piles in our house. So Pipes. Uh, I'm fine with tap water. That's nice. I'm glad. Uh, Don says, haven't started taxes yet. Joe is finishing I'm almost done. Caleb's. I did his already. Yep. And then, yeah, now finishing. It. Every single time he's just about done, another person says, hey, right. while you're at it. Uh, let's see. Megan said, any suggestion on some comfort food habits? This week has been a hard one, and I want to make bad decisions. I, I don't want to. I, I want to. I want to make bad decisions. I haven't yet, but dang. Okay. Go ahead. Do you have any suggestions for comfort food and habits? Well, I think that the biggest thing we need to do is start trying to find comfort in other things besides food. Because the food can never hug you back, right? Like, I, we need to, to find other ways to find comfort. And, and this will take a concerted effort. Like this is like, get your journal out, get a, get your pen out and start writing down some things that really bring you joy. Things that you can do outside, things that you can do inside, things that you can do on a rainy day or a sunny day, things that you can do that cost money, things that would bring you joy that are free. People that you can call that you know you're going to get a laugh and a conversation from them. Like, really have a plan because I don't think that we can just white knuckle life and just decide, well, we, we're going to adult past the need for comfort. We need comfort, right? We need soothing and we need activities and we need things that are going to bring us um, some joy. We don't want to push pause on that. We don't want to wait until we meet our health goals to be comforted by something. But food is is maybe the go-to thing that we use for comfort up until this point, but now it's time to, to shift our comfort source to something else. And yeah. only you know what you're really going to enjoy doing. Right. Uh, Marley said, I've recently gotten into circadian biology and it made a huge difference in my sleep and health overall. That's awesome. Marie said, do you have a coupon code for those glasses? Link would be great too. Marie, uh, if you email me, uh, Joe with Two Crazy Ketos, I'll send it to you. So we, I purchased the glasses on my own. They did not send them to me. I did a lot of research on a lot of the different ones that are available. Um, I really decided on these after watching a lot of things with the with the person who owns the company and reading reviews and they have a good you know, return policy. Um, but I don't want to recommend them to just everybody in general until I've had a couple of weeks to use them. Making sure. Because um, they have a lot of, they have ones where you can buy just like one for the day, one for the, you can have it. The one I bought 
it's basically a frame and then you have different ones on. So um, I did ask him for a coupon code and he gave me, but I would prefer to, if somebody wants it, email me. And then once, like I've used them for a couple weeks and I'm really if, confident if in them. If they're good. If they are good, then I will do a video about them or put it in a vlog or something like that. But the set that I got, because it is three distinct lenses and it doesn't look like those horrible clip-ons that like, you know, you would clip on, like my dad used to have. Yeah, we're going over your glasses. Yeah. My mom um, still wears it. But they sometimes. were like 200 and something dollars yeah. for the set. And I never but we are want desperate to, for him to get good yeah. sleep. I mean, if Rachel would let me, I'd get up and go get them to show them to you guys, but she would probably kill me if I did that. Possibly. Uh, Why risk it? Cheryl said I eat Wild Planet Tuna with homemade mail. Awesome. awesome. They, it is awesome. I'm glad I'm not the only one that likes it. Joanna said I get really tired at 8 p.m. Then by 10, I'm wired. My rhythm is messed That up. is you in a nutshell, yep. to be honest. Because, yeah, like 7, 8 o'clock, maybe immediately following dinner, he'll he'll be real sleepy. We'll try to watch something, and he'll, like, fall asleep. But then at 10 o'clock, it's like, it's a brand new day. <laughs> but it's not. Um... WCB said, I've been keto carnivore since January and I'm confused on how much protein I should be getting uh, because some people say to eat your goal weight and protein, but others say to eat no more than 100 grams. I don't know who's saying to eat more, no more than 100 grams. I, me personally, I don't think it's great advice. Dr. Barry was asked on a live stream and he said, they said, how much protein? And he's like, if you want, he's like, eat until you are comfortably full, two or three meals a day. Make sure you're eating nice, good, fatty meat. If you're just eating carnivore and only eating meat, you're probably good. Uh, but make sure you're, you're, you don't be trying to lose weight. If you're eating carnivore, you should be eating two or three meals till you're comfortably full of nice fatty meat. You don't need to add a tremendous amount of fat. If you're eating lean, then add up some fat to it. And try to grill it because that'll burn off some of the fat if you're adding fat. But when he was asked, if you absolutely have to have a number, if you absolutely have to have, take your current body weight in kilograms, and that is the bare minimum. And he went on to say, and it probably isn't enough. Right. So I'm going to tell you, you should be eating at least 100 grams. And I've heard Robert say that. And, you know, of course, Bronson is going to tell you protein is super, super important. Does Bronson like protein? Is he big on protein? The best way is obviously if you know your lean body mass from like a DEXA scan or something like that. And that should be closer to your minimum. But if you don't know that... Use that stupid ultimate goal weight that doctors say that we should weigh that we're never going to weigh. Right. Yeah, that's a that good one. That the frustrating one? The one that one. The one that makes me angry? Juju said, I have a UV card in my wallet so I could be cautious with my sun exposure. How neat. Just call me Goldilocks. Not too much, not too little. How cute. And don't be afraid of the sun. The sun is super important. You need to be in the sun. We should all be in the sun at least 30 minutes. The rule of thumb should be... You want to be in the sun with as much skin as exposed as possible. Go for, naked. For about Just kidding. Don't do that. Half the amount of time that it would take you to get burnt. Because then you would have no sun. So if it takes you arrested. two hours to get burnt Don't in get the arrested. sun, you should be in the sun for at least an hour and expose as much of your skin as possible. If, you, you, if you're worried about like areas like your face or your neck, you can cover that up because you don't really absorb that much vitamin D there. But think about bathing suit. That's, that's the kind you want to be out there. And here it comes. Without suntan lotion. Oh, now my we're gonna move gracious. On. Don't wear suntan lotion. Joe, you better just move on. Suntan lotion's bad for you. Megan said, thank you, Chris. I agree. Trying to get back on prep food at, for a BBBE. Set up the fridge. Nice. So I am grab and go ready all the time. Uh, Sherry said, my front tooth oh, is gone. Oh, bless your sense. heart. I'm so sorry. Dawn said, one of the rewards I gave myself after losing weight was having my teeth whitened. Oh, I want to get... That's a... Is that, that would a be first? Good. Yes! Oh my gracious! Four hundred people the watching. Lord. Thank you so much, wow. guys. Tanya said, "Rachel, I'll come to Utah with coffee-stained teeth Thank and solidarity you. with you." I really appreciate that. Seriously, I'm glad it's not my only one. I'm, Sherry I'm said, "I'm gonna be like this." I definitely know how you feel, Joe. I have a missing front tooth, but I don't mind. So many cute teeth, girl, girls. Aww. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, cool Kid Keto said oh, to Shelly, once she's healed and headed at the dog park, she got to go to the dog park last week for the first time. She was so good. Frankie, Frankie was, was being, being a, a butthead. Head. Frankie, get it together. Becky said, we planted 12 blueberry bitches last year, hoping that we can get a few How before the deer no. did. Oh, I know, right? And that's, if you want to have blueberries and raspberries and strawberries, yes. that's about plant them. Growing. And when they grow, eat them. And when they're not growing, don't go to the store and buy them. The rewards of your labor. I think that's precious. 
Robin said, I started reading the salt fix. Fascinating explanation of how the low salt dogma has come to be and very good info about the risk of too little sodium. Thanks for sharing that, Robin, because yeah, <clears throat> we're a huge proponent of, of that book and I, it def, it's definitely worth a read. Bev said, do you think you can make keto chow ice cream for the creamy with a fry? I have never tried that. I Yeah. I don't know if I would be cool with that. Patty said, I had my second root canal four months this week. Every oh, tooth has a crown. My dentist said I was the wrong heart. line when they handed it out to uh, right. me too. Every one of my teeth Which will have line a crown is on. for the teeth? If okay. I don't have a crown on it, I don't have it at all. That's, yeah. that's my, honestly my mouth. Uh, Defense was a Joe. That was a G rated for the most I'm part. I'm doing my best. <laughs> We're just teasing her. Sherry said, Joe's face. Rachel, what you went places. Joe only rolls his eyes out. I bless his heart. He has to be married to me every single day. You should see some of the outfits she came home with today. Yesterday or Tuesday during the Keto Child live stream, and they were talking about they have rules of dress and you can't wear anything that's distracting if you work to work at Keto Child. I'm like, distracting. That puts, that puts Rachel out because out. everything she has is distracting. If, she would cause more OSHA violations and well, and like it, the, the chart on the wall that says, you know, day since last injury, it will always say zero. Hey, if you can find a shirt that puts off a laser light show, I say buy it, okay? Buy it. One that sings, I say get it. Uncle Big Guy said last week's live talked about tracking sleep, which I need more than six hours. Missed the live, slept 7 p.m. to 4 a.m. Watched wow. replay and love Rachel's floral dress. Well, thanks so much. Thank you. Dawn said my daughter always uh, said she is uh, was sad because she wasn't blessed in the chest area. <laughs> but now she appreciates it because she can wear cl clothes that don't require a bra. That's awesome. That is seriously awesome. Purple Lady said, I should be purging house, but I'm too tired and depressed. Aww. So trying to turn my mood around by listening to you guys. Thanks I love you, Debbie. You. I'm so proud and excited for you. Getting this new house is going to be so awesome. But I know that moving is so stinking stressful. But you're on my heart. <laughs> Robin said, you live in South Florida. With no electricity, you have no AC, which means the butter will melt that, in the house. That is true. Okay, except we, we have three generators. Okay, we have one large one that can run almost everything in the house with the exception of the main air conditioner, uh, the dryer, what else can it run? And the stove. But I could, I can, I literally have it rigs that you can plug it in, you turn off the power to the main so you don't electrocute the Please line don't. workers yes. who are trying to restore you. Yeah. Um, and so basically now every plug in the house will work so long as, long as you don't overdo everything. It's like 12,000 watts. Then I have another one for the RV. And then we have another small one I say we just that is also the, the RV. RV. One of the reasons we have a main one is because in our bedroom, we have a mini split. The last time we had a storm, Everybody. Rachel, Rachel literally said, I don't care about the food in the freezer. I don't care about the food in the refrigerator. I don't care about anything else. Here's what I want you to do. Man. I want you to rig it so that that air conditioner can yep. keep running. Yes. And literally that Priorities. was the only, she was like, so we have to have an air conditioner just to run the electricity for the air conditioning or generator. Otherwise, Rachel will kill me. Yeah. And she's already said, I'm telling you now, all, if we have a storm, I'm going in the RV with a generator. All three kids and us and the animals were all in our bedroom for And weeks. that was at night. And then during the day, everybody lived we in the lived swimming pool. We lived in the pool. swimming pool. Ah, uh, Joe said, melt the butter in the sun. It's Florida. Yeah, that's true. Sandra said, I'm 66 and wouldn't wear the dresses out there. Home, Home on, on the, the prairie. prairie. Looking. Seriously, I, I just don't get it. I also just don't get the blend of, of patterns. Like, I don't know how you have giraffe and flowers or like you have zebra and camo. It's just, it's it's like an assault. Yes, uh, Esther said, yes, lectins in some plants is their defense. Pressure cooking, some of them gets the lectins out. Yeah, nice. some of the vegetables you can, uh, you can, you can nullify some of the toxins with, uh, by cooking, but not all of them. Oh, the warden got, they got Samson's adoption paperwork yesterday. Oh, oh Renee's so here. Said, been a hot minute, but I'm Hi, here. Renee. My family's such long days lately. Miss y'all. Uh, Cheryl said, Dr. Cyrus put me on BBB. Love it, but so much more like cramps. Uh, take some keto chow magnesium drops. Yeah. And uh, make sure you're getting in your potassium. Heather says, Phil and I, of course, will be going to Omaha. Yay! Watching while cleaning, so can't comment much. Hi. Hi, Heather. You're taking Leo, right? Leo is coming to this, right? I get to see the grandbaby. That seems fair, right? Can we smuggle him in? 
Um, Marino said, can I use Anthem gum instead of Terra gum and ice cream? What's the difference? They're completely different gums. I don't know. There's, <clears throat> excuse me. There's already Xanthan gum in Keto Chow. I don't know if adding more would create that same texture that you get using Terra gum. If you buy Terra gum, you don't have to buy the modern and pa modernist pantry. There's lots of brands on Amazon. We don't have the modernist pantry. It will last you forever. You're yeah. using a, an eighth to a quarter of a teaspoon per t uh, creamy. It will last you a really long time, uh, but they're completely different. Uh, let's see. Some, let's see. Joe Ray said, have you looked on Amazon for a dress? If it doesn't yes. fit, you can always send it back. I usually order a couple and send it back and I don't like when it doesn't fit. Yeah. So thank you so much, Joe Ray. Um, yeah, I have been looking on Amazon, but I'm, I'm glad that you said that it's been an easy experience to like try it on and fit. Have you had good results when, when you do get them or do you find that you send back a lot because that's what I'm afraid of. Like, right. I feel like I have a kind of a weird shaped body and I really almost need to try it on. A particular challenge for me is my arms because see, I have a lot of skin right. left in my arms. So sometimes like things don't fit on my arms so well. Um, so that's always a little bit of a challenge. But you, have you had good luck with it? Lynn said dresses on the light in the box website oh, are beautiful. Light in the box. I, I screenshotted it already. Okay, thank you. thank you. How did you know I was I know that? you. Uh, Rachel, uh, Denise said, Rachel, but when you do, you rock those Aww. dresses very, very well. I love you, Denise. Thank you. Uh, Ramlin Rory said, thanks for everything. What is your recipe for keto chow with your coffee? Hey, Rory. Uh, we, for 40 ounces of coffee, we put about a half a scoop of keto chow in the blender. Um, if you're doing a cup, I'd start, depending on how big your cup is, start with a half a tablespoon, maybe move up to a tablespoon. Now that is the powder. We don't pre-make it and use it as a creamer. We just mix it with the powder. Another place is Sheen. Have you guys tried that? Because I've heard conflicting reviews of that website that like sometimes like the, the clothes are good and like inexpensive, <clears throat> but like some people say, well, some of them come really good and some of them are like, this is not going to make it through the event. Like it's going to fall apart while you're wearing it. So like, ha have you, anybody used Sheen as a website? Tina said summer days can get extremely hot and humid. Old me would sometimes eat a blizzard for dinner. Sometimes looking forward to keto chow ice cream. Yes, because we eat ice cream for dinner a lot. <laughs> Thanks to keto chow. Joanna said my daughter worked two years at Tractor Plus. She's now been a year in a clothing store and lost so much muscle. She went wow. down two sizes. Because yeah, she was strong. Yeah, she was working out. Yeah. Uh, Amy said, have you made a video on how yeah. to use chronic? Yeah, we already answered that. Uh, Future Breeze said, I've uh, been only losing about one pound a week. So slow, but 25 years to gain 97 pounds. I figured a track on one pound a week is fantastic. actually above normal. Yeah. So, that is I mean, a healthy fantastic. weight loss is a half a pound to a pound a week. But if you're on keto, especially if you've been on a while, you're losing fat. You're not losing muscle and fat unless you're not eating any protein. Um, but... It, it may be a little bit slower, but you're going to lose a lot of size. Yes. Don't worry about the scale. Because make but sure you're measuring. one pound is a lot, especially for a woman. One pound a week is a lot. That is a ton. Make sure that you're measuring, though, and taking pictures, because I have found that that is a much better indicator of stuff that's going on in your body than what you'll see on the scale. Renee said, I've been known to stop, pit stop in strange yards on long runs to sneak sips of water from their water hoses. Oh, how cute. I would always like, it would get so hot in our garden hose because South Florida. So I'd always have like my brother, hey, you want to have a, the first drink? Like you first. And he'd be like, ah, oh, it's so hot. Carla said, I'm going to Keto Salt Lake. I live Yay. a couple miles from the venue. Can you tell me about the meetup on Thursday? Is it open to regular folks like me? Really hope to meet you too. Carla, I believe I it is. I don't know you. if Chris is still in here. Um, but there's a thing on their website. Yeah. If you go to keto, uh, keto salt lake. I think it's keto salt lake. Go to low carb and there'll you be a link for it. That's the best way to go. Uh, let's see. April said, I've been tracking, but I'm still confused about how many meals should we eat in a day? I have not been snacking, but I feel stuck two to three meals until you're comfortably satiated. Future Bree said, I try to use uh, real two, but uncoated when paper. Nice. Okay. Uh, Aw, Shauna, you're so sweet. Danita said, what? Your face is perfect. You guys have the best keto community. Thanks, Thank you Danita. very much. Thanks, Danita. Because you're here. That's why it's awesome. Esther said, tap water coffee, tap water keto chow. May look at a filter on my faucet if I find the right one. Yeah. 
Uh, cool kid. Kito said he probably ordered more of those shorts. Uh, he is doing another truck hike, I think, coming up in San in San Macros. Oh, cool. Uh, Mary Jane said, "God made your face, so it's perfect. Aww. Your smile is infectious, and your joy shines in that perfect God made face." Wow! Thanks, Mary Jane. Um, Jay wants to know: Would you consider keto chow ice cream carnivore? Wow, that's an interesting. It depends question. on how technical you want to get with carnivore. You know, it, there's there's flavoring in it. There's sucralose in it. Am I okay with that? Yeah. If you want the real technical term of carnivore, you're not supposed to have spices. Derived from animal? Right. It's got to be derived from an animal. I've seen people say that heavy cream is not carnivore, which is not true because it comes from an animal. You know? I think some people won't be happy until we just start actively right. biting cows. But... That, you know, that's not but it is a us. milk protein isolate. But again, there's flavoring and there is a little bit of plant stuff in there because you have xanthan gum and acacia fiber. But it's not a lot. So it just really is dependent on what you want. Danita, Aww, thank you very Danita. much for the $9.99 super Danita. sticker. He's, he's shaking it. I love it. Uh, okay. Oh my gosh, it's 940 already. Oh my gracious. I'm sorry. Uh, Juju said, on. my godfather was a master plumber. He made it to point to show me the inside of every hot water heater when I was with him on a job. The biggest piece of advice he ever said is do not drink, drink hot, hot tap water. Wow. That's amazing. Well, I believe a plumber. Uh, let's see. Oh, I like how Lisa says, pampering myself brings me joy. Painting my nails and toes, face masks, etc. Yes. Nothing like some good face mask time. I love that. Like, I feel like I'm doing something so much extra when I like do one of those face masks. I love it. I, I feel like I'm taking time. Like, like this is extra. I really like buying moisturizer cream. I know that's weird, but I feel like I would always see that in like movies and television shows, like a woman really taking care of herself would be putting on a little, you know, moisturizing cream before she went to bed at night. And I feel very special when I do that. Mimi, I want to let you know, thank you for being a channel member. I saw your comment. I'm not going to read it thank because you. I don't want everybody else to make a comment, but I appreciate the support. Aw. Um... Matreya said, board games and cycling yes. stuff make great rewards for me. I love that too. Having the opportunity to buy a new game as like a reward for yourself instead of like, you know, a purchase of a food is really nice. And then anything you buy that way, you get to keep it. If I eat it, I eat it. I maybe have like, you know, 15 minutes of satisfaction, but then it's gone. But if I buy like a hair, a hair bow or I have a facial or I buy a new top, then it's like something you get to keep. It's you, and, and, I, and every time I wear it, then I'm reminded, oh, that was the, I got this shirt because I stayed on track for a whole week and I rewarded myself with these cute little flip flops or something like that. Um, I'm so sorry, Juju. Uh, Shauna said, my sister just texted me and said her cholesterol is high, so she's eating oatmeal. Oh. She said keto does not work and, I th oh. and thinks I'm crazy for doing it, but she's eating oatmeal. Like, it's going to help her. I oh. just said, okay. Oh. That's all you can That's do. That's all you can do. That's all you can do. People don't understand. You have to... It's, it's really hard for people because, again, we've... We've been just beat up for so many years that cholesterol is an enemy, which it's not. You know, your body uses cholesterol. It makes cholesterol. It's actually how your body uses the sun to turn vitamin, to get vitamin D. But it's just ingrained in us. We, we've like, we went down the rabbit hole and listened to Ansel Keys and everything yeah. is developed around that. So it's going to take time. I mean, more and more doctors are now really starting to recognize that it's not the cholesterol, it's the issue. It's the ratio of our triglycerides to our HDL and to our LDL. And those are the, the more important numbers, but it, it's just going to, to take, take time, time, you know? And the best thing to do is light, politely, lovingly point them to like Dr. Barry's videos and Dr. Boz's videos and Dr. Cyrus's videos and, and, and Dave Feldman. If you want to know about cholesterol, go watch his videos. He's the guy. Uh, Shauna said, I seriously do not need more patterns and furry waffles. <laughs> I, I have had my fill. Renee says, my newest converse are leopard and camel. Well, I feel like Renee could pull it off. I'm not sure that I could pull it off. I, I, 
I could do it in a shoe. I could do all kinds of things in a shoe, but I don't know if I want to be like he head to toe in it. Although, Lord knows, I have worn some crazy stuff. Okay, we are going to get off. Um, what is this? Uh, Kathleen said, I found clearly filtered and love it. You can get oh. the filters automatically sent out and you just need to replace them and it filters so much, including How Laura. nice. Okay, so uh, we're going to get off now next week. Um, I don't know if we're going to be able to have a Thursday live stream. No. We won't know until we actually get to Utah. Right. Because we are going to visit Redmond on Thursday and then there is that meetup and... I don't know what time the meetup is and what time we're going to be done, if it's before or after. We're, we may try to do one on Wednesday, but I we, we're going out to spend a couple of days to hang out we're with the We're going to play it by ear. And so just make sure you're subscribed to the channel and, and we'll put posts up on Facebook. We'll put a post up in our community page, which if you're subscribed and hit the bell notification, that'll show up in your YouTube feed. And when we put up a post that if we're going to have a live stream, if we're not going to have one, we're going to, like Rachel said, play it by ear. We yeah. weren't going to have one for keto on the couch, but the dentist moved my appointment so that we can still Yay. have the keto on the couch. I one. know. I'm so excited. So, but again, if you're in the Utah area, come We'd on out and see, see us next Thursday at the yeah. Keto Chow Warehouse. We'll be at Salt Lake for Friday, Saturday. We'll be gone from Tuesday to Tuesday the following Tuesday. Tuesday till Tuesday. And then uh, Monday, don't forget, we have our 10 a.m. Eastern time for Keto on the Couch. Thank you, everybody. Have a great night. We love you. Bye.